Hey guys, uh, Warhammer, Age of Sigmar here. Uh, my angry impressions. I think it's a solid game. At first, I was a little disappointed playing through the um, Thunder uh, Gods campaign, the Stormcast Eternals. Some of the voice acting is leaves something to be desired. Some of them is really good. Some of it's kind of really bad. The audio levels fluctuate, so there's... <laughs> You got these these uh, zealots screaming in your ear uh, the whole time, so you you definitely want to change the volume levels. The winds of magic are drawn to this ruin. This was once a holy place. Once, once, long have my kindred and I desecrated it. There's nothing for you here, Stormcast. Nothing but death itself. I didn't wrong, know. Dark one. The ether is plentiful here. With it, the light of Sigma will be rekindled in this dark place. I did not know the night gaunts talked like that. They're a little less scary now when you think about them. <laughs> um, and it was uh, strategic. Uh, it's roguelike, so there's lots of good equipment, uh, war gear, abilities to upgrade your individual units. I wouldn't, it's like a cross between an XCOM and a roguelike. You're going up uh, this path and trying to get as far as you can. There's little branching things, but it's not, not, not too extensive on the branching paths. And uh, you unlock little lore. I like the fact that all the lore is voice acted, and that has really good voice acting. Superb. In the Age of Myth, a time now forgotten by all who cannot commune with the spirits beyond the veil. Um, and so, if you wanted to learn about the Warhammer Age of Sigmar universe, this game has enough there that you're going to get some backstory on each of these three factions. I think that's the best part of it, that you can actually choose between these three factions. Stormcast, Eternal Night Haunt, and the Maggotkin of Nurgle. The Maggotkin of Nurgle is the best. See, it's the one that Mittens picked. I just love their voice acting. You have more pressing matters. The lightning warriors come. Nurgle has granted you fell magic to smite these golden fools before you. Prove yourself worthy to have been freed from Nurgle's garden. I love their disgusting maggot filled bubbles of pus. It's just really cool. And Nurgle as a chaos god was always uh considered uh almost good even though i like slanesh but or no uh zinch <clears throat> anyways um at first i thought like all these three campaigns would just be going through the same fortress but no they have uh their own campaigns unfortunately the night haunt and the maggotkin are fighting both fighting the stormcast eternals it would have been nice uh, for like the Night Haunt to maybe fight Nurgle, something interesting. You don't really see that very often. Some of the other factions fighting Chaos, because um, the Night Haunt isn't isn't Chaos. Anyways, um, so yeah, I think the only problem here is as you get further in, it gets a little repetitive, depending on your tolerance for these types of strategic games. I think it is solid though. After all, after playing the multiple campaigns. Every faction has their own unique abilities. Night Haunt is all about like respawning and healing your units and putting pyres everywhere so that you can summon. The Nurgle is just these gross, awesome abilities with like little Nurglings popping up everywhere. And the Stormcast, they're just, you know, Space Marines, essentially. Pretty straightforward. But um, a solid game. Uh, where it starts to falter is in the price. For 40 bucks, I'm not sure this does it. I might wait for a sale on this one. But uh, it's a solid game. It's not the worst. So now I'm going to play. Oh, there is a problem in multiplayer. Um, you're doing a, you could do some one-on-one -on -one battles and stuff in here. Create your own faction. What I really like, uh, I, I forgot to mention, is that every unit has unique abilities. And so it's like a puzzle game as you move your pieces on the board like a chess game. So that's why I said really, really strategic, very solid gameplay in that sense. But um, right now there's no penalty 
for leaving in uh, in a multiplayer game. So 70% of your games, you have people just quitting. And it sucks. Like, it, it's ruined. It's already hard enough to get a game since there's not a lot of players playing right now. It's only total 36 players. And uh, so I imagine that it's kind of dead on arrival. And in a few weeks, it'll probably be dead completely. So what you have to focus on is the... Um, the campaigns themselves the and if they're good enough uh, for you so you'll see here you get your war brand ready and you go up this map so anyways here's a few battles to give you an idea of what the game is like <clears throat> and uh, we get to my final impressions all right enjoy it scouting These guys are gonna come up you fools! Haha! -ha. I am a strategic genius. That wasn't as clever as I thought. I was hoping to kill that guy in one shot now. He's gonna make it to me. How dare you! Ineffective. What the fuck did you just do? Stupid idiot. The nerglings are gonna beat you up. <laughs> you stupid fool. Going there. Tongue lash. Oh, I guess. Darn. They need to be here or here. Son of a bitch. You gotta be kidding me. all that shit maggots Eww. harvest swing deal three damage and harvest corruption Takes the shit. Status effects from units. Reign of Magus deal two corrosive damage. Fucking damage. How dare you? Got him. Walked straight into my trap. Send us to do the good work of the grandfather. I can't predict where this guy's gonna go. it's like the tabletop where you kind of use the nerglings to tie people up I'm not gonna bite them oh I fuck god damn it killed myself I didn't think it would take two damage we are on Celestian wing. For a step, my dear child. Uh, the slaves of the Azir and Shaish shall know your name soon enough. Man, that must be rough on this and guy's I voice, but I love it. Name, 
strange whisper. For now, you may call me the Fly Father. Okay, so it's not Nurgle himself. It's probably that demon warlord. Demon prince, whatever. Nurglings. Okay, I would highly recommend. Maybe it's just because I love... Uh, oh, and it's a different campaign map. Okay, all right. A little better now. thought they, they, they were just going to have you face, face the same people over and over. That's cool. Oh, my God. This literally hurts <clears throat> everyone. Take my flying guy who's weak as fuck. Down to two. Or down by two. Let's move him out of the way first. I honestly don't want them hit. So I'm setting that up like a motherfucker. Here we go. That is just so much bullshit. In the tabletop, is that a thing? It's like when vehicles explode, you gotta roll for each dude inside. Wonder if Age of Sigmar, those units, do they actually like explode? Chat, does that guy not know how to operate his speakers, or have I been operating with no sound the whole time? Is there anything for me to collect? Damn it. So it's like, I gotta walk around and let them hit me so that I can collect this reward, right? <coughs> Or do I get the reward anyway? Yeah, that's because the people, their volumes are like really fucking loud and they piss me off. And I, so I turn that shit down. I'm gonna step on this so that person can't spawn there. That's bullshit, it just moved. Who requires <laughs> prosecution? Hunters, strike! Oh, whatever. Fuck. Because I got knocked back. I will not stray. Two items collected a green and a white. Just need the moment is right. I am prepared to do my duty. Vanguard hunters here. Our powers bring them to justice. None can escape. There's some strategy here. There's some satisfaction on creating combos. Knocking people left and right into your range, finishing them up, them off with different abilities. I will so the strategy's here, making it a solid foundation for strategy. I strike like lightning. But I don't see this at forty dollars. At least not yet. Let's look at these other campaigns. I wonder if the other campaigns are going to have us go over the same map, the same, you know, 
Night Haunt uh, Fortress. Liver. <laughs>